Hello! This month on Loot Crate, villains. <laughs> yes, villains. Bad people are apparently the theme for this month's Loot Crate. I presume they don't mean real-life villains, like the person who sneezes on the salad at the open buffet. I think they mean, like, ones out of fiction and that. I'll be getting a lot of comic book and movie things. I reckon we'll see at least one Darth Vader. Probably several references to the Joker. In fact, I'm sure we will, because that was trailed, I believe. Um, maybe Thanos? He's getting popular What with the... No, Ultron, maybe? Mm, don't know. I'm thinking quite a lot of Marvel stuff that is popular. I don't know. Why don't I stop guessing and just open the bloody thing? And look, I've cut the um, salad tape already, so why not? Interesting, though. Very much different shape this month. Never seen one shape like that before. Looks like it'd have less in it, but in fact, realistically, it's probably just longer and thinner stuff. So, oh blimey. It's all been scrawled in, or pretend scrawl, from the Joker in character, or maybe Harley Quinn. Probably Harley Quinn, because there's a picture of Harley Quinn with hearts around it, which is something more she would do than him, I imagine. Say cheese, share with no one, enjoy broken hearts, tips for the perfect crime. Yes, we see what's going on here. Well, that makes a nice change, since these are normally fairly uh, bland, to say the least. And already I can see the t-shirt, and it's an interesting one. And now I've seen pretty much everything else, because it's already laid out. Here it is. We are looking at the jokester himself, Jokey they're going for, for he is sitting on a throne in the manner of Loki from, uh, you know, Thor and the Avengers and your mum's bedroom. And yes, well, it's one of them pop culture mashup things, which I'm not particularly fond of as a general rule. Here's two things you like, we have put them together. Money, please! But um, this is quite nicely done, actually. The t-shirts are always decent quality as well, which is nice. And yeah, that's actually quite a nifty design. Yep, like that one. Good. We're starting off on a high note. And just to drop that down slightly, here's some bloody socks. What? Was Deadpool on them? Is he technically a villain? Not really. He's a bit sort of uh, middle of the road, isn't he? I don't know. Um, I don't know. These are really like the sort of thing you see quite a lot in Poundland. Um, they are nifty though, and they are extreme. They are extreme socks, so obviously they're going to be excellent. I don't know. Um, hmm. I don't know. That feels a bit Poundland to me. They're not bad ones, but yeah, that's not the highest quality of item. But hey, if you need some socks with Deadpool's eyes on, go no further. Oh bloody hell, no! Oh wow, it's one of those rubber Vader. I knew there'd be a Vader. Rubber Vader key rings, um, sort of used to get in sort of late 90s for virtually nothing. If I ever recall, these were literally two for a pound in Poundland at one stage. Wow. They're not bad key rings, it must be said. They're sort of hard rubber, which will survive nicely in your pockets, except the back, which is very shiny and gets scratched up very quickly. I wonder what year this was made. I presume this is a recent one, as opposed to ones they've found in a warehouse. But who knows? Give us a kiss, Vader. I was Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, don't remind us. Right, next. Oh god, they're still making those bloody badges. What have we got? Oh, quite a nice one. We've got Deadpool and Harley Quinn. And is that the back of Loki running off the side of the badge and ruining the design? I think it is. In fact, it looks like Vader's just pushed him over. Fair enough. I do wish they'd stop doing those. Ooh, what is this? It is in plastics. Right. Um, I think we've had to get it out of here without damaging it horribly. Here we go. This is... Uh, oh god, two posters. One, oh, good grief, I've seen this design before. A slightly terrifying bat-related joker face. And I don't quite recognise that Harley Quinn uniform. Is that one of the Arkham City ones, or is it New 52? I don't know. They're not bad little posters. Quite nicely done, actually. High-quality prints. Oddly, they're stuck together and perforated for you to uh, pull apart. No, I'm not sure that is perforated. I think it might just be a fold. Nope, I was right the first time it is perforated. Phew, because that's the most important thing about this, isn't it? Anyway, they're quite nice. I'm quite enjoying that. And there's yet more stuff to come. What? Necessary Evil Supervillains of DC Comics. What is this? It is not a CD. I think this is a DVD. Hang on, I know what this is. Isn't this that documentary they made last year? And they never released it over here. That is interesting. If so, mm, I'm not 100% sure it is now. Hang on, what's the running time? Oh, tell me, tell me, where's the running time? It doesn't say! Ah, I'll have to go and look this up afterwards. I don't want to get this wrong. Actually, I'm going to cut here and go and look it up, because I don't want to uh, mislead you on what this is. Jump cut! Yes, I was right. This isn't some sort of half-arsed um, 
badly produced thing that's essentially advertising is actually like a proper documentary about supervillains of DC Comics. I remember seeing this was out last year, um, but as I say, never released over here, not on Netflix or anything. So I am quite pleased with that. I couldn't tell you if it's actually any good or not, I haven't seen it as yet, but that's a pretty good addition, an actual proper thing, what isn't that easy to get hold of, like, yep, happy with that, sit over there, watch it later. And now Bowser wants us, apparently. Hmm. Fridge magnet. Interesting. Well, they're going for the whole um, Uncle Sam stroke General Kitchener thing there, saying he wants us for his army of toadstool men or something. That's probably not going to work out, Bowser. Also, pluck your eyebrows. It's getting freakish. Right, bad news. They've started printing these bloody books again. Yeah. Those have nice cover art, but I do wish they'd just spend the money on something else. I don't know. Rather than just stuff about it. Mind you, I suppose there's nice interviews in Oh, I don't really care. I'm going to be honest with you. Please, guys, put the money into more stuff. And finally, ooh, it looks like a comic book. A book of comics with a sheet of card in a book. It's an issue of Rocket Raccoon. And there is indeed Thanos. Always nice to see. There he is, be I'm clutching a loot crate. <laughs> ah. ah, so this is the first of some sort of rebooted... Um, Rocket Raccoon series, and yeah, Loot Crate exclusive. Yeah, 001 variant edition. He's literally holding a Loot Crate, so like I imagine he's not at any stage inside the comic book. Let's have a quick squeeze. If he is, I will be impressed. Somehow I think that is what we call in the trade a variant cover. Um, yep, there he is, messing around like some sort of raccoon bloke. And there's a tree fighting a blob. That's always good. I'm looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, no, nothing else inside, but this person's haircut has made up for all the evil in the world. So I'm quite happy with that. Well, yeah, that's it's uh, comics, all right. I'm not, I've got to say, to be brutally honest, that is a bit crass. Um, if you were perhaps poking fun at the concept of uh, sponsorship in general, that would be good, but I don't think you kind of are. I think you've just taken a cover and stuck a loot crate on it and so, sort of implied it might be worth something when it almost certainly will never be. Oh well, what do you say, Joker? Nothing. I've got arrows in my eyes, is his response. Well, uh, yeah, overall, pretty good one. I like the t-shirt, I like the posters. Um, that was alright. Slightly crappy keyring, if only because it just reminds me of stuff from like 20 years ago, but fair enough. Um, very impressed with the DVD. Comic book will be a laugh. Yeah, I think that was a good one. That is one of the best ones I've come across yet. Well done, Loot Crate. Have yourself some caramel. Unless you're diabetic, then have less caramel. Subscribe for more.